Alright, so the extreme theme for this deck was to mainly have cards uh, which have a cost of paying exactly 1,000 life points. Uh, so stuff like Instant Fusion, Cosmic Cyclone, Soul Rope, Seven Tools of the Bandit, uh, and a whole bunch of Cosmo cards. Now, uh, let me explain to you how it became basically a, a lesser Cosmo deck. You see, Psychic Jumper has a really good effect, which allows you to pay 1,000 life points. Uh, where you can switch control of a different Psychic type monster with one of your opponent's monsters. Basically, allows you to steal one of your opponent's monsters. I thought that was great. Uh, Destructor Tron has an effect where you can pay 1,000 life points to destroy a spell or trap card, which you can use as many times per turn as you want. So, if you have Telekinetic Charging Cell, uh, you can destroy all of your opponent's spell and trap cards with Destructor Tron. And I was like, oh, that's really good. So I have two Psychic type monsters with pay 1,000 life points. Uh, and then I looked at other Psychic type monsters and I found a whole bunch of Cosmos. Uh, Cosmo Star Trooper allows you to pay a thousand to special summon a Cosmo from the graveyard. Uh, pretty good effect. Cosmo Wicked Witch, pay a thousand life points. She can't be destroyed by battle or card effects for the turn. That's a really good effect. Uh, Cosmo Dark Lady, pay a thousand life points to negate a monster effect once per turn. Uh, that's a really good effect. <laughs> so uh, I put in just a couple of other, uh, just like one, uh, one offs, not a whole bunch of them. Of other good Cosmo support just so I could get a way to actually bring these cards out but I didn't want the deck to be completely consumed by Cosmo cards uh, but I mean I had a couple of them so I thought I might as well run the field spell card might as well run a couple of the staples like straw man and farm girl and I might as well run two of the machines uh, and what happened was unfortunately uh, I ended up relying very heavily on the Cosmos, and I don't think I ever actually drew into these cards, or if I did, they were just completely useless in the duels I was doing. Um, but I think I was able to get a steal, so it ended up being basically just a Cosmo deck, unfortunately. But it did fit the theme, uh, so yeah.